Now that the crypto market is bouncing back, a lot of people are starting to go all in on crypto, doubling down on their positions. In today's video, I wanted to talk about a couple of key things that you need to be aware of if you are invested in crypto right now. We're going to go over all of the good news with technical indicators. We're going to go over some things that you just need to be a little bit concerned about. We're also going to go over everything else you need to know in terms of mass adoption and even other countries adopting Bitcoin as legal tender. So if you guys enjoy this sort of content, please be sure to like the video subscribe to the channel and let's jump right in. Right now, overall crypto market is sitting at a $2.06 trillion market cap. And the key thing here is that we've finally seen Bitcoin and the overall crypto market bounce back above a couple of key levels. We see that the overall crypto market has bounced back above that $2 trillion market cap, which has acted as a key level for the crypto market over the last year or so. In addition to this, Bitcoin's price is also staying above that key 40 $2,500 per coin range. Recently, we've talked about how Bitcoin's price hit this um, $40,000 per coin key level about five or six times over the last year. We talked about how it was very important that it would stay above it, and we've already seen a good bounce back above this. So we're on the right track. Are we going to see it go to record highs immediately? Probably not. We're probably gonna see a couple of retracements back down to that $42,500 per coin range before continuing our breakout higher. But the good news is that we have seen that support maintained. We have seen a nice bounce off of that. In addition to that, in terms of the charts, we also are seeing that the weekly Bitcoin chart is also looking very bullish as well. A lot of people were concerned that we were going to see a weekly close below that key $40,000 per coin level, but that has not been the case. And actually, we have seen Bitcoin's price bounce back, and we're seeing that right as we hit this key level, we see a green candlestick forming for Bitcoin right now. So this is very important that we see this weekly close, hopefully above that $42,500 per coin level. If we move that up right around where we are at right now, that is going to be a key level that we would like to see a close above. If we see this close above, I'm going to be adding a lot more to my positions, potentially, you know, taking all of my stable coins and really moving them over to Bitcoin, Polygon, Cadena, Polkadot, and a number of other coins that we have talked about as of recently. In terms of mass adoption, I wanted to quickly interrupt today's video to bring you a word from one of our brand new channel partners, Kyrex. Kyrex is a regulated crypto fiat platform that provides a one-stop shop digital finance experience through advanced trading, payment and custody technology, and this is all for retail and institutional investors. The cool thing about Kyrex is that they have an extremely holistic approach to all crypto processes and solves a wide range of problems in the crypto industry right now. Some of the reasons I like Kyrex is that it has an all-in-one platform, a crypto exchange, an OTC platform, a wallet, liquidity hub, deep pool of liquidity, security and protection system, low trading fees, high performance, and above everything else, it is a very user-friendly and simple experience for its users. On top of all this, Kyrex recently obtained a Class 4 virtual finance asset license from Malta Financial Service Authority and an Estonian license of financial services, really giving it credibility and verifying its business. This platform is simple and easy to use, in my opinion, and is definitely worth taking a look at. Check out the range of services and let me know your thoughts. Use my link in the description, check out Kyrex today, and let's get back to the program. We are also seeing a lot of positive news come out. One report just came out from Visa. It was a survey on over 2,000 small businesses, about 2,250 small businesses, and they were located in countries all around the world from the United States to Canada, um, United Arab Emirates, and all of these businesses, majority of them say that Digital payments is the future, and according to the survey, 24% of small businesses plan to accept crypto payments in 2022 by the end of the year, and this is a very important development that's taking place because we've talked about a number of crypto processing companies, and this is the way that we're going to continue to see prices increase as more and more people get involved. In addition to this, one of the biggest stories of the day is going to be with Tonga. Tonga already released a five-step plan to copy El Salvador's um, bill making Bitcoin legal tender. And this is a pretty big deal because this would give over 100,000 people 
access and onboard 100,000 people to the Bitcoin network. This is huge. And if we look at a recent tweet, they have a five point plan where in September and October, the bill is going to go to parliament, be passed, Senate, uh, sent to palace office for submission. They talk about this whole five step plan. And this is very important. They just tweeted this out on January 12th. And it'll be interesting to see how this plan continues to develop and if it is implemented. But either way, countries like Tong like places like Tonga, we see in El Salvador, um, Tanzania, um, a number of countries all around the world are already talking about and already have plans in place to implement Bitcoin as legal tender. So seeing this is only another positive, only going to help with more money coming in to the space. And it's one of the many reasons why you don't wanna be out right now. Now is the time to be doubling down. Now is the time to be in because even if we see prices drop, Long term, we are only seeing more and more positive news. Last couple of things is going to be first with um, Bitcoin ETF because Taurus Kling Blockchain launched India's first ever Bitcoin ETF. This is in a partnership with another company. And the key thing here is that it's not investing directly into Bitcoin, but it's going to invest in metaverse uh, large cap stocks and other Bitcoin and other stocks that have exposure to the crypto market. The key thing here is that this is the first crypto backed futures ETF outside of US and the first Asian discount certificates tracking all of these different metaverse and crypto projects. So this is another step in the right direction. Like we say, just more and more positive developments coming out every single day. Last thing I want to talk about is going to be with Ethereum. Ethereum 2.0 just passed a major milestone, and that is that um, the, the ETH 2.0 deposit contract officially surpassed $30 billion in value. About 9 million ETH have been staked in this and locked in this ETH 2.0 deposit contract. We've seen a couple of announcements come out recently that Vitalik Buterin says it may take a little bit longer for ETH 2.0 to be rolled out, and it looks like that's going to be the case. But the important thing here is that if you are invested in, in Ethereum, this is only great news because we're seeing more money locked, not going to be able to be sold until ETH 2.0 rolls out, helps create a floor price for Ethereum, makes less supply available. And also the good news here is that with all this money locked in Ethereum 2.0 for um, until we see that take place until we see it move over to proof of stake. This is only going to help with the entire development of Ethereum's blockchain. We're going to see more layer twos continue to develop like Polygon, which is doing amazing as of recently. This is only going to help with the price. So right now I'm very bullish on the overall market. Things are looking a lot better in terms of technical indicators, in terms of mass adoption, and in terms of, you know, altcoins really starting to bounce back. So let me know your thoughts on the overall market. Hope you enjoyed today's video. I am going to be issuing a number of buy alerts shortly. As soon as we see that weekly candlestick close above that key level that we spoke about, but things are looking good and I hope to see you guys in the next episode. See ya.